What's good, Team Exclusive, and welcome back to some more FIFA 21 content. Today, we are back with a brand new episode of the Draft to Glory. Now, as you uh, can see behind me just there, we have all prime icon, uh, I just prime icons in Draft for a limited time, which is just a bit sad when I saw that, because obviously I knew they were in Draft, but um, yeah, for a limited time, it's really, really sad. These kind of things should be in the game from the get-go. There shouldn't be any limitations for like when they're in, for how long. It's like, oh, just let people play with them, man. They're, they're so unobtainable. Just let us play with them in the draft. What's the harm? But with that said, we do obviously have lots of icons in the draft. We have lots of stuff in the draft. So I thought, why not try and, uh, you know, jump on and, and see how we can do. See what kind of draft we can build as well. Um, what do I even want here? What do I want? 4 5 one attack is quite good, I suppose. We'll go with the 4-5-1 attack because there's quite a lot of um, like Maradona, Ronaldinho. Wow, okay. And starting off, we get, um, I mean, we get Prime Louis Figo or we get Team of the Year Kevin De Bruyne. Um, I'm going to take Kevin De Bruyne. Obviously, it takes up a cam spot, which is a bit of a shame. But if we can get somebody big... Or not, I guess. We'll take Luis Alberto. Jeez. Okay, maybe that was a mistake. But uh, maybe that was a mistake. Wow. Um, did I take... Oh, I should have taken the German. I'm going to take Timo Werner. Okay, it's not quite what I was expecting. But, um, yeah, it's re this really isn't very good, is it? Um, okay. Okay. Um, Jesus. I mean, it's March, isn't it? It's March, so... Good Lord. Come on. We get Paul Pogba. We also get uh, Thomas Party. Who... Um, who I'm going to take over Paul Pogba. Just because he's a bit better of a CDM type player. We also get... Ooh, okay. It's a bit better, to be fair. We get a Team of the Year, Trent Alexander-Arnold. Or we get Prime... Carlos Alberto. I mean, like, good lord, man. Good lord. I'm going to take. Am I? I mean, four star, uh, four star week for three star skills. Same for Alberto. Let's have a look at. Uh, I mean, it's not really much comparison, is it? I mean, Trent is just. He's just a lot better, which is really weird. Like, yeah, in my opinion, Trent is probably the better, besides maybe physical-wise, probably is the better better choice there. Um, we've turned down two icons so far. I was hoping for a, um, a little bit of a cheeky... I've forgotten his name. Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos. <laughs> um, but I am going to take... I'm going to stick with the Prem vibes just because I want the chemistry. Not that I'm sure it really makes much difference, but yeah, good lord, man. Good lord, we also get Carl Walker, which I'll definitely take because I'm a huge sweat. And to finish things off, we get a Fabianski. So not a terrible draft, to be fair. We have, we've got two Team of the Years, which is more than I can say for most draft, but the rest of that is pretty tragic. If I'm being perfectly honest, I mean, you could argue that Werner and, and Carl Walker are very, very good, which, yeah, they probably are, but I kind of expected a little bit more, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's good. It's a good foundation to work on. If we can get some... Wow. Okay. Holy shit. I get a Prime Vieira. I saw Raquel me. I thought, eh, it's pretty decent, but actually, no, we get a Prime Patrick Vieira, which obviously I'm going to take, which obviously I'm going to take. That is insane. Good, and we also get Martin Udegaard as well. Am I going to take him? I am. I mean, there was a, there was some helpful wingers like Son and stuff. But I'm, but my God. I mean, Luke Shaw is definitely the pick, isn't he? Because he goes straight in. Obviously not. My God, my God. We've. I mean, the reserves are arguably better than the entire team. What's going on? Okay, we also get uh, we also get uh, Wan Bissaka, who definitely would uh, probably go in. Obviously not. We're going to take Garincha. 
Wish it would stop doing that. Um, the, yeah, the reserves are better than the entire team. That's nuts. Um, he's not useful. We'll take Gilson, Martin. I do, like, literally, those five players are better than my entire team. Obviously, Patrick Vieira goes in straight over him. We also get uh, Martin Udegaard. Get Georgie Best, who goes in, uh, goes in there. Kevin De Bruyne, and then we'll put uh, Prime. 94 Garincha. That's insane. I'll keep him on the left for now. If we can get like a Brazilian manager, um, we could obviously get him onto four and that'll be fine. But I mean that that card look that card is insane. Passing, dribbling, shooting, pace. Obviously physicals are a bit low, but that's expected. That's crazy. That's a crazy, crazy good card. What are we saying? First goalkeeper on the bench is. We'll take highest rated in Castiles. Wish it would stop doing that. Um, okay. We also get, ooh, Thiago Silva, Lam. We also get him Babu. Uh, I mean, we got Trent, but I mean it's Lam, isn't it? Ob obviously, we're going to take it. There's no question or doubt about that. Pro might put him centre back. I generally don't know what I'm going to do at this point. Um, Like, just trying to th see if we can kind of hybridize this tool. I mean, like, it, that's nutty. Um, I'm going to take Alaba, just because he is quite an interesting player to choose. Um, I really wish he would stop doing that. Okay. Um, next pick. What are we saying? We've got uh, Thomas Muller, Zachariah. It's not a bad. It's not a bad choice, but obviously he's not going to go in anywhere near the team, is he? Um, not, nobody, nobody helps. We'll take Thomas Muller. That's not terrible. It's not terrible. We get Raheem Sterling. I mean, I could take Haaland, to be fair, just for that link to Udegaard. But I think the worthwhile pick is Raheem Sterling. You'll probably have to go in there over Garincha. I'm going to take Rudiger just because he is a potential choice over... Even though I don't think he would be, would he? He's a lot worse. A lot, a lot worse. So I'll put him in there over there for chemistry just for now. Just to see what kind of um, manager we get. And we might put him back in as well. Uh, obviously put um, him on the bench as well. Cool. So... We get a 189, arguably still our equal highest rated draft, which is a bit a bit sad, but it is what it is. Um, and I'll just put Sanchez on the bench. Cool. So that's kind of how I'm envisioning the team to play out. Unless do I play... I think it's probably better if I did that. It's on 10... I can either get six and six, which is fine, I guess. What are we saying for Trent? We'll see five eleven. That could be a good shout, to be fair. That could be a really good shout. He's the tallest, tallest one we've got. And then we've got Carl Walker. I, I, I actually really like that draft. I think that's sensational. It's just whether or not do I. Who do you start? Do you start Georgie Best or do you start a Gadincha? I'm gonna stay I'm gonna stay with um Georgie Best. For now, if we do make it past the first round, I might swap him out and uh, give someone else a go. But let's hope for a Brazilian manager or none of that, I guess. We yeah, have there we go. Finally it's actually it's actually recorded it. Anyway, that is that is the draft we've got. That is sensational. Um Prime Lam. Prime Georgie Best, Prime Patrick Vieira. We've also got Team of the Years in the way of uh, Kevin De Bruyne and Trent Alexander-Arnold. Mental, mental, mental team. All right, well, um, yeah, let's uh, let's just jump into a game, um, see how things go. Obviously, if we lose in the first round, it is what it is. You know, um, it is what it is. I do want to do quite a lot of these draft videos um, probably in, in, in the coming weeks or so, or in the coming week. Or next week possibly because they are in only in for a limited time so 
kind of want to do it while we can. I thought it froze. I thought it froze on me again. Might still have froze, to be fair. Oh, no, there we go. We actually are loading into the raft. He's got 94 Maldini. He's got Haji Hernandez uh, Zambrotta. He's got Rijkaard, Ronaldo, Renato Sanchez, Sissoko. It's a good team. Brilliant. Okay, so let's try, let's try that again, I guess. But yeah, we we'll might as well uh, might as well try it while we can. This guy's got a very good team. Seems like it probably was built prior to this whole icon update into the draft. Because he's only got one icon. Seems a little bit a uh, little bit weird. Fuck's sake! <laughs> oh, I just can't get near this guy, man. My. God, that just went straight in. Are you serious? Bang. Oh, he's missed, of course. Yeah. Come on. Timo Werner's going through. Please, Werner. Yes. There we go. Timo Werner puts us one in the uh, well, one in the game anyway. Uh, it's not it's not going ideally well, to be honest. Not going ideal. Bang. Georgie Best. <laughs> I don't know why he stopped playing, but fair enough, I guess. Whatever. Whatever. Uh, good lord, man. I, I genuinely don't know what's going on, to be honest. Don't know what's going on. I mean, in fairness, we got kind of saved because we were being battered, but the guy just stopped playing. So I imagine what happened was his controller disconnected and once it happens, you can't reconnect it. So um, he was fucked and he left. So yeah, we didn't get the loot. We didn't get the loss. We didn't get the draw, we didn't get the win, so we just have to redo it against a very, very nice looking team as well. Uh, I think he had Hullet as well. Crazy, crazy looking team. Hoping that we can uh, do somewhat better anyway. Yo, Udegaard. Yo, that's a pen, let's go. Martin Udegaard doing some work right now. You do love to see it. Georgie Best. God damn that tackle, but it's fine. Oh my god, man. Just can't get a fucking player to go near him and then he just boots it in the back of the net. Of course. Come on, Timo Werner. Please, Kevin De Bruyne. There we go. Back on the score sheet. Back on the score sheet. Let's go. Shit. No, man. Fuck. Just letting him on through. Oh, this is so frustrating. Come on. He's put it in his own net, I think, to be honest. I have no idea what's happened there. It it has gone down as an own goal. That's crazy. Go on. Ooh, let's go. Kevin De Bruyne puts it in the back of the net. You do love to see it. You do love to see it. Now we're only one behind, which is not terrible. Go on. He says, as he makes it 4-4, let's fucking go. You do love to see it. Yeah, I'm letting him run on through again. But, I mean, thankfully it's offside. Oh, okay. Never mind. Brilliant. <laughs> oh, what can you do? What can you do? That that really sucks. Oh, goddamn. I mean, it's an annoying one. It really is. Um... But I, just, I crumbled it in the end, I guess. I crumbled it. I just made a few too many mistakes and, yeah, just let him go on through. But like that, uh, I think I say it every time. But, I mean, that guy was good. You know, I always give respect to my opponent. He he, he obviously had a good team. He, uh, he he knew what he was doing. He knew to, how to abuse certain mechanics as well. But, like, just let him do the same thing over and over and over again. And just it just worked out for him. Um, so, yeah. It is what it is. I'm going to save a lot of those packs, even though they are pretty insignificant, for um, the promo, hopefully, next Friday, which is supposedly meant to be foot birthday. So save it for them. But we do get a, um, a lone inform Coop Myers. I mean, it's such a really good card, to be fair. Such a really good card. Um, actually, might come in handy for um, for some maybe Erida Divise objectives. But yeah, unfortunately, that's the way the draft goes sometimes. We... We had two shots at it, and at both times we would have lost, probably. So, you know, it is what it is. Just wasn't our day for uh, the draft. Like I said, I will be doing more of these. 
try and build some hopefully interesting, uh, you know, uh, squads with some higher rated icons that we can't usually use on the road to glory. That's kind of the idea. Um, it was really good fun, actually. I mean, I'll jump over to the end screen, uh, obviously. Um, but yeah, Garincha, he was really good, to be fair. I brought him on at the end. Um, he was quite nice to use, but I don't know. Maybe it was me, but maybe it was the gameplay, but everything felt so heavy and just stiff again. So I, I don't know, to be honest, but George Best felt really good. Obviously, 93 rated, you expect he was going to be quite good, and he, he really was. Um, besides that, the team itself wasn't overly amazing. Like, Team Averna, very average. Um, De Bruyne was good, obviously, Team of the Year, you'd expect, again, to be very good, and he was. I guess, with that said, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do drop it a like, that would be very, very much appreciated, of course. Um, and if you haven't already, please do consider hitting that subscribe button and become part of the exclusive family that, of course, will be very very much appreciated as well. But uh, with that said, I do hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. And as always, we'll see you next time.